All right, we're back. In the last video, Oren Ryder, our, our hero, was uh, attacked, robbed by uh, some waitresses. Uh, he wounded one of them. The other one ran away. And he went back into his apartment thinking, man, this is pretty pretty scummy, uh, you know, this scummy, scummy place to live, scummy lifestyle. I don't, I don't want that. I want to, I want to, evolve myself, move out of here, become a mover and a shaker rather than some kind of labor manufacturing guy. And so he's, he's going to call up his buddies uh, and he's going to organize to meet with them, have some, have some chill out time, do some chilling, maybe ask around and be like, hey man, what can I do? What do you think? Get their opinions. So that is what we're going to do. That's our, um, you know, that's, that's our plan. Objective, your objective is to interact with NPCs, find companionship, find a dealer, maybe a job offer, or a gamble. He wants some kind of job offer so that he can, you know, get a bit of extra cash on the side and get himself a house that isn't in a, in a crappy neighborhood. Uh, he's going to go alone because obviously that is, that is what he's doing. Uh, and um, we can, we can choose the building or have it rolled up ahead of time. Make it fit your story. Remember, you have to resolve one PEF before entering the building and one when you leave. Uh, the encounter occurs in the day part of your choice, unless otherwise specified. Uh, look, you know, he's going to go on the weekend, I think. We'll, we'll wait for the weekend and uh, we'll, we'll do that. There'll be one plus 1D3 uh, PEFs in the encounter. Uh, you can choose to resolve them as few as you, as many or as few as you like. Uh, if you wanted to search for an offer of employment, it'll cost you one of the PEFs. Pay the cost and check the job offer. Play continues. Now, the other thing that you can do when you are in there is you can also do some gambling and stuff like that. Uh, there's a new way to increase rep D6, but you might also lose your rep D6. Uh, and, you know, you can uh, fill in the some grunts. <laughs> Uh, you know, to, to be playing the games. So, uh, let's find out where we're going. Midland Terrace to a tavern. That's perfect. I did not stack the deck, but that is amazingly perfect. That is where we are going to go. Um, is there a PEF? So, let's, uh, let's find out. Where are the PEFs? Generating PEFs. Yeah, so, uh, before we enter, is there a PEF? I'm trying to find where the thing is. Oh my gosh, you'd think I'd know where that is. PFs? Does it say? Nope. Page 66. No, that's choosing the building. <laughs> I'll get back to you. In the shadows of New Hope City, where the streets bear scars of countless stories, Oren Ryder finds himself at a crossroads. The past night's mugging left him battered and unbroken, but it awakens a burning desire for a better life. With every ounce of his strength, he grasps at any opportunity, no matter how faint it may seem. Amidst the urban turmoil, a glimmer of hope emerges. His friend, Rob the Bag Handler, posts a cryptic message on his socials, a lifeline of sorts for those willing to seize it. Oren's agile mind pieces together the clues quickly and he promptly arranges a rendezvous. Their meeting point is the Sick Frog Tavern. It's nestled in the heart of Midland Terrace, a haven for the city's unsavory characters. Its exterior is cloaked in darkness and the name alone evokes a sense of foreboding. The tavern's patrons, like Oren and Rob, wear the weight of their ambitions and secrets heavily, their faces hidden beneath the shroud of smoke that dances around the dimly lit corners. Amongst the patrons lurks a pair of shadowy figures. Private investigators skilled in the art of reading lies and uncovering truths. They sit in a discreet alcove, observing the tavern's comings and goings with an air of detached curiosity. And then there are the undercover cops, concealed beneath nondescript attire. Their presence is felt, not seen. Their eyes ever watchful, every whispered word a potential revelation. A cop is a cop, and these stick out like a sore thumb. Rob, however, has reservations. His face etched with trepidation, the sight of law enforcement offers even in disguise sends shivers down his spine. He fears the tightening noose of suspicion and he hesitates. He talks in a hushed tone. What will he and Oren decide? Okay, so apparently we just generate a PEF. Uh, we, like, there is no, like, it's always a PEF. 
there's never a, not a PDF, <laughs> basically. <laughs> um, so there you go. We get one before and one after. We know where we're going, so let's roll 2d6. Let's see what our PDF is. It's a 10. It's a criminal. Another criminal? Are you for real? <laughs> Maybe it's a good criminal. Maybe it's someone uh, that we want uh, in our lives. That is a 7. It's a thief. Okay. Well, we just had a thief. <laughs> we just had a robbery. Are they friends or foes? So I don't know if you can see this one here. So let's see um, if they are good or bad. So uh, what am I rolling here? 2d6 and just adding them. Okay, so we've got a 6. 2 to 8. Nope, we've never met them before. Does that mean... Are they friends or foes then? <laughs> it doesn't tell me. Uh, man, I'm guessing if it's a criminal, I'm gonna about to get robbed again, right? I don't want that. So how do I determine what... Um, let's see how many there are. 1d3. Uh, it's a 3, there's, so there's 2 again. <laughs> and uh, 1, they've got pretty high, they're pretty intense dudes. So, uh, whoops, just drop my dice again. Uh, if you've met them before, find out what happens now. If you've never met them, it's easy. Just interact with them. Okay, well, we can interact with these, these thieves <laughs> that are coming our way. Um, does it say what page for interact with them? No. <laughs> it's a social encounter, right? That's, that's how it works. Interacting with PEFs. Where is it? Uh, ch -ch 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 -ch. Not chilling, not all that stuff. Where'd it go? Where'd it go? Here we go. Non combat rules, challenge NPC challenge 38. Alright, so page 38. This is uh, one downside of this. Now, I know that there are quick play rules where you kind of are not flipping back and forth through so, so much. I just had it. There it is. Big part of uh, 5150 New Beginnings is interacting with NPCs. Characters run by game mechanics, interaction that help build your story. Uh, resolving a PEF or pre planned encounter, consult the NPC interaction table on 239. <sighs> you guys are sending me, oh, like, look, it's on page 38. It's a bit of a, a, a marathon, this one. <laughs> uh, both you and the NPC roll 2d6 versus people skill. Uh, where multiple NPCs use uh, leader of the NPCs, modify a number of D6 roll to rep, uh, blah, 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 go down the left-hand column. All right, 239. Let's go. Oh, look at that. I was one off. 238, 239. Here we go. NPC interaction. It's actually on 240. Their pages are one out. There you go. Well, all right, so I have... Two thieves. Their people skills are four. My people skill is also four. But um, if they were of lower rep than me, we'd have a problem. But they're the same rep as me. So I'm not going to be cruel to them. I'm going to treat them as equals, me and this criminal person. It's a basic and a muggy. And I'm pretty sure the muggy is the little aliens. The, the little monkey aliens, not the big ape aliens, right? Uh, I could be wrong. So, here we go. They need 2d6. I need 2d6. Their rep is 5. Uh, their people is 4. My people is 4. Here we go. We both passed one and failed one. The NPC ignores me. Very good. Well, that was not entirely a waste of time. <laughs> there we go. Woo, at least we didn't get mugged. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> Alright, back to our chilling encounter. We make it into the tavern uh, without being molested, I guess. And we get to roll uh, a third to see how many uh, PEFs we get. So that's a two plus one is three. We get three of those. Um, and we're looking for, for job offery type things. So let's, let's roll up. What do we got? We have A, an exotic. Ooh, that sounds good. So exotics are the ones that do all the fancy stuff, right? Which exotic is it going to be? An eight. A police officer. Mm, interesting. Okay. Uh, let's see. We've got a 12. A criminal. Mm-hmm. <gasps> criminal. Let's see. They are a five. A thief. The thief. Maybe the thief we just met. <laughs> and uh, a five. Another exotic, which we'll just use the same one. A seven, an investigator. 
Hmm. Okay. Interesting. Uh, I will make this a bit more pretty and um, get back to you. All right. So here we are. I have. Um, I always feel like these videos are going to be better than they are because you know I know I forget the rules and stuff. But you know what? I'm having fun. I hope you're having fun. I'm learning the rules. Happy days. Uh, I have rolled a few things. So first of all, I rolled what like level the the cops and the investigator are. So they got a four. They're the, like number four down, and the thief is the number three down, and then the investigators were also four. I also rolled if there's more of them or less of them. There's one more than me. So um, the, for the cops and for the uh, investigators. Look, here you go. Have a look at the Look at that. That's a police officer from um, 7TV Action. They have like a police officer army pack. This guy is an investigator. He's also from the same thing. He's like a detective. These were painted by um, Moran Minis. Go check out Moran Minis on Instagram. He's pretty top notch. This one, oh, another investigator, but this one's from like, uh, not as well painted. It's like a Hero Clicks one. <laughs> I didn't paint it. It's how it comes in the packet. Uh, and then the cop is, uh, sorry, the cop, the thief is also from like the Thieves pack of the 7 TV action. Interesting game, 7 TV action. I don't think I'll ever play it, but uh, it's a very cool idea. And I also rolled up if they're known or unknown. The thief is the only one known to me. Uh, the cops are not, so, and the investigators are not. So, I think we're going to interact with the thief. Now, because they're known, normally when you do interaction, there's like, you, you roll to interact, and then if you pass, a, if you're successful, then you can further interact, and you can kind of, um, you know, it's basically gated. So, if you fail the first time, it doesn't work very well. If you succeed, then you can kind of then do things like, you know, trying to ask for a job or, or what have you. Um, but because this character is known to me, we can go straight into that further interaction. Um, I don't need to pass that gate, uh, which is good. It, it would have been interesting if the cops, like, it, it gives us different kinds of jobs, right? Like, talking to a thief who I know, potentially asking for a job, it, it could have just as easily been the investigators or the cops, right? So this is how the stories get made, is, is these little random dice rolls. Uh, now, we are cruel. The thief... I rolled the three for the thief, and so he is uh, a rep four. So he is less than me. So I get an additional d6 when interacting with um, with him. So as always, red for them, uh, white for me. Now let's have a quick look at what we have for NPC interaction. Joe, if the interacting character is a Joe and is interacting with a non-Joe, I suffer a d6 penalty. So good thing I get that extra D6. <laughs> I had three. I lose a D6. Now, um, I do want to do a sweet talk because I'm trying to ask for a job, right? Um, so I can gain a D6 back and so I really want to have that additional D6. But that costs me a rep. So where's my pencil gone? It's always a problem. There's always some problem. I can't just go straight into <laughs> into what I want to do. Where'd I put the bloody pencil? I bet you it's like somewhere there you can see it, I'm sure. Where'd it go? Oh, holy heck. Alright, let's grab another pencil. <laughs> oh, it's always chaos. Alright. Welcome. Hello. Minus one rep is what I'm saying here. Minus, minus one. Oh, and then the pencil breaks. Alright. Whatever. <laughs> I have no idea where that pencil went. Oh my goodness. Oh, well, I found a car though. There you go. All right. So, uh, <laughs> all right. Minus one rep to give us an extra dice. So we gain a dice, we lose a dice, we gain a dice. That Joe's thing is pretty much of a problem. <laughs> like being a Joe is not a good, uh, not a good thing. Uh, if they outnumber other characters by three or more, gain an additional plus six. No, we don't. Uh, ch -ch -ch yeah, okay. I think that's it. Does the criminal have anything we need to know about? Nope, they're not even armed. All right. So we're going to roll out reps. We're going to compare them. And then depending upon who gets more or less passed, uh, wins. All right. Oh, that. that's a fail. Good thing I got that extra dice. All right. So I passed two. They also passed two. So we got the same. Oh, all right. So when we're doing further interaction, so normally the same would be the NPC ignores you. But in this instance, uh, it is 
if we get the same result past D6, they agree with what you propose. If they have, sorry, so if we, if we had a result of past more D6, they agree with what we propose. A result of past means they do not agree with what I propose. So I'm asking my buddy, hey man, uh, you know, look, I've just been robbed, living in this garbage neighborhood. What can you do to help me out, man? Surely you can give me a job or something like that. And he's like, nah, man, it's not for you. Just stay in the factory. Live, live your life. <laughs> so that went, uh, you know, not, not great. Um, so uh, I was hoping to be successful because we uh, would then gain two rep and, you know, be, be living our dream. Have a, have a job, but no. No, they do not want uh, any of us. They're like, nah, man, you're on the straight and narrow. Just stay that way. <laughs> and off they go. They're going to bail and, uh, and and leave us here in the thing. But us talking to a thief seems a bit suspicious. And so maybe some, um, you know, do we go the cops? One to three, we'll do investigators. Four, five, six, we'll do the cops, right? Here we go. All right, one, two, three, investigators going to come and have an interact with us. So... Now, the investigators, they were fours on our little chart. Oh, look, I found my pencil. Is that the pencil I just used? I have no idea. Yeah, there you go. Look at that. It was there all along on the table the whole time, camouflaged against the smart board. Uh, so the exotic, we got a four. So they're going to be, um, again, a Z. I don't, I don't have any Z. We're just going to have everyone basic because, you know, that's what I have. Um, so, and they should be people skills too. So that technically, I don't know if I failed even more than that, but there you go. Uh, there are four, four people skills. Here we go. Do our reps. Now I'm a Joe. I get a minus one. I'm not sweet talking them. <laughs> so things are not going to go as smoothly, I don't think. And they outnumber me. So here we go. Who knows? All right. I passed one. They passed two. Uh, and so they, they, are things don't go well for me. What is it that these guys could want with me? I guess, um, you know, these investigators, they're like, Hey man, we, we saw you talking to that thief guy. We heard you, you know, trying to get, trying to get, uh, you know, in with, in cahoots. And I'm like, um, yeah, no, <laughs> he, he didn't do any of that. So, uh, are they an exotic? Yes. And so we have to go to, oh, wait, the outnumbered is three to one. Ooh, ooh, okay. Well, they would have lost one of those two dice because those two dice are the same. So we're actually on the same. All right, that's good because if we had have had lost, all right, it's okay. All right, if we were outnumbered by three to one, then they would have got that extra dice, right? But we're just going to take away that four. We're going to say they're the same because if they, if I had lost by less, we have to have a confrontation now apparently because I'm interacting with an exotic. (laughs) Confrontations don't go my way very well. Um, But there we go. We're the same. So I don't have to decreasing rep. That's good. All right. So they believe me that like I wouldn't, I can't, you know, nah, man, he wouldn't give me a job. What do you want from me? So they're like, all right, righto. Off they go. Happy days. We've got our third PEF. The cops are like, hey. Not only are you speaking to, um, you know, <laughs> you're speaking to thieves, but you're also th- speaking to private eyes. What's going on with you? Now, the cops also had a four. Um, so both of those passed. They do outnumber me and they are exotics. So we are going to have a confrontation. They don't believe me. They've just witnessed me talking to uh, a thief and two private eyes. <laughs> now they're like, hey, man. It's go time, you know, uh, so I am going to be under arrest from a cop, I think. So uh, we need to go to the confrontation, which is on page 82. And this is how the story evolves. <laughs> so from chilling, you can have like all kinds of different like interactions that happen after that. Uh, but, you know, that's that's what happens. All right, confrontation. In this encounter, the player and the opposition have met each other and are not on the best of terms. Uh, The opposition has you cornered and intends to do you physical harm uh, or or you could be causing the confrontation. In that case, just flip the script, Uh, blah, blah, blah. To successfully escape unharmed if you're being confronted or to cause harm if you're doing the confronting. 
Uh, I am going alone. I don't have any people. Uh, NPCs will be generated as per... Well, we've generated our NPCs. Uh, now, police could be called. Well, they are the police. <laughs> uh, we'll say more backup might be called later. All right, 1d6 versus the area of the law, the law level. The law level of Midland Terrace, I'm guessing, is the one. So here we go. Uh, that is not passed. <laughs> so that can't be right. That must be the number of things. Hang on, Midland Terrace law level. Let me see the map. Let me see the map. Midland Terrace has a law level of three. Three. The law level of the spaceport is always four. All right, three. So. Did we pass three? No, we failed. So they will use lethal force. <laughs> That's a bit rough. I mean, I guess they're cops, right? There you go. <laughs> that is the internet reputation cops have, apparently. Uh, play continues to play is accomplish the objective, being incapacitated or leaves the encounter. Confrontation is uh, generated at random, an involuntary encounter, and when there's a story behind it. Here's how we do it. Uh... No, we know what I know what I'm doing. Walk away or join in. I am already part of the confrontation. All right, then I guess we just deal with um deal with what happens next. So I'm just having a look. Walk away or join in. You can choose to join away, join in, or walk away. If you walk away on a walk in on the confrontation. Oh, I didn't walk in on the confrontation. Okay. Well, I guess we're just going to uh, action table. Action table, page forty-four. Though it's actually on forty-five. If I can find where it is, it's probably marked with a thing. There we go. All right. So here we go. We got two cops and oh, you know what? I would have had an extra D six because they are lower rep than me. But there you go. Whatever. Whatever. This is what happens. Uh, this is what happens. I forget rules. <laughs> anyway. All right. Let's see who has the advantage, first of all. They have the advantage. Yes. Well, being police officers, I'm sure they do. Uh, and here we go. Let's just roll our reps to see how we go. Oh, they failed. They balked it. All right. Which means I get a chance to leave the battle board. Uh, which I'm going to do. <laughs> Why would I not leave the battle board? I'm like, come on, man. I know my rights. <laughs> Sovereign citizen. <laughs> no, he's like, look, man, you got nothing on me. If you want to arrest me, arrest me. Uh, you know, otherwise I'm leaving the battle board and I'm going to do that. Let's see their will to fight. Their will to pursue me. Uh, let's see, eight. I'm pretty sure eight is... It's going to be a... Oh, wait. Is it versus their rep? It is. Their rep, as we said, is four. Uh, and so one pass, one fail. One figure will leave the board as well. Or in this case, you know. All right. So one of them's coming after me. <laughs> or one of them's still chasing me, I guess. Um, yeah, I don't know. How do we how do we do that? If I leave the battle board, if any figures runs away, immediately remove from the battle board. Yeah, okay. Well, I'm, I'm removed from the battle board, bros. C count me as removed. <laughs> All right, now we got to do an encounter, a PF encounter uh, on the way out. Which is it going to be the same cop? I think it makes sense for it to be the same cop who's going to hassle me on the way out. Um. So let's switch this out to the street. It makes sense, right? That the cop is chasing me. I'm not going to generate him again. I just we'll just keep him as as is, okay? Now with a four, he has a an automatic assault rifle. So um, we'll do that. All right. Let's see who has the advantage. I have the advantage, uh, allegedly. And this guy's like, nah, come on, let's have an interact. So. He has a lower rep than me. I'm going to try and interact with him. Even though we just had a confrontation. Uh, yeah, I'm going to have... I know this isn't how it's meant to go, but whatever. Let's see how we go. I mean, there's nothing in the rules to say it can't go that way. I'm like, I know my rights. Off I go. All right, interact. Here we go. So we're doing people skills. So I failed too. 
what's his people skills? His people skills is three. So he's past one. I've passed two. So that means it's a positive interaction. <laughs> and I'm like, hey man, there's no need to arrest me. I'm just an average Joe. You can call my call my boss and they will know. So in this case, uh, they'll give a favorable reaction, increase rep by 1d6. All right, so he's, he's, he's heard me out. I'm like, come on, man, do a background check. Don't, um, you know, don't arrest me. And I can further interact. Uh, and I will further interact with him. And I'll be like, hey, man, well, maybe, look, if this guy is one of your, your dudes, maybe I can, um, maybe I can, uh, you know, help you out. Maybe I can uh, do that. I meant to have minus one dice as well. Whoops. Plus one, minus one. There you go. So maybe I can knock on my friend. Maybe that can be my thing. He has failed one. I have failed one. We have the same. Uh, so in that case, he disagrees. He's also like, nah, man, no job for you. <laughs> yeah, right. Okay, well, look, as long as you're not arresting me, I'm having a good time, right? Am I free to go, officer? <laughs> Let's see. Am I free to go, officer? Uh, yes, I pass two. He only passes one, so he's favorable to that. He's like, yep, you can go, my dude. You may leave. All right, so after offering to knock on my friend, <laughs> uh, I am free to leave. The officer goes back to his buddy inside the bar. And I guess that's our first interaction. So, yeah, I don't know how you felt that went. <laughs> I don't know. I feel kind of weird about that. But there you go. So we're still in the same situation uh, as we were before. Oh, we have to see if there's a... Is there a... Um, is there a, a PEF on the way home? I don't think there would be, right? Like, we had one already. That seems like too many PEFs. <laughs> oh well, we're going back to Lower Gaia. Let's see what is the what is the Lower Gaia PEF rating. Let me have a quick look. It's on this page here. Lower Gaia PEF rating uh, in the in the daytime we said we were is is a three. So is it less than three? <sighs> it is less than three. <laughs> Let's see. Uh, there we go. Look at that. Lower Gaia has a storage facility. Who are we encountering? We got a five, so it's another exotic. Let's grab a new exotic card. I don't know if they're any different. I'm guessing the back is different. I don't know. I haven't looked. It's a five. It's a mercenary. We did say we didn't want to do mercenary things. Is it one or more? Uh, it is more than one. So we got two mercenaries, and they are four, level four. All right, what are they going to say to me in this uh, storage facility in Lower Gaia? Uh, I, do I have some mercs? I can grab some mercs super quick. I'm sure I have a merc in handy. Aha! I have the perfect mercenaries. Here we go. Ugh. All right, here, I don't know if you've seen these. <laughs> uh, they have been in another video, but I don't know. Um, it is uh, B. Arthur <laughs> with a gun. And that one's the Betty White with a gun. Uh, it's the Golden Girls <laughs> mercenaries. Let's have an interaction with the Golden Girls mercenaries. Let's see what, what they have to say. Um, all right, so... They have a lower rep, so I get a dice, but I'm a Joe, so I lose a dice, all right? Um, that is the way it works, nice and even. And where did I... Where did I see my interaction table? All right, here we go. Do we have any other fancy things? The message, let's see if it's positive or negative. All right, so I failed one because we're using my people skills, right? Not my... Not my other one. So I failed one. What are their people skills as a four? They have also three people skills. So they failed both. So I have more than them. Positive interaction. You know, hey mercenaries, 
that, you know, maybe we're chatting on the train or something like that. We're in a storage facility, I guess. And we're chatting on the train, like, hey, man, come, come by. So I am actually going to decrease a rep and try and sweet talk the mercenaries and be like, all right, well, maybe I can do mercenary work to get an extra dice. <clears throat> Here we go. So we'll further interact. I'm going to sweet talk. Here we go. Oh, that is just rude. <laughs> These white dice always hate me. I need to get different dice. I need to stop doing the white dice. And they have more than me. Um, so I have less than them. So I get a second decreasing. And um, they are not outnumbered, luckily. Um, but I fail. <laughs> uh, and they're like, nah, bro, mercenary work is not for you. You, you. You're just stay in the factory. No one wants to give me a job. This is the problem with this economy. <laughs> All right, so that goes unfavorably, uh, and off I go. I head head along my way, taking a negative d6. We've got a lot of negative d6s. We're actually even. We got a plus one for our robbery. We took a negative one, and then we got a positive, and then another positive, and then two negatives. So, there we go. That has been our... Um, these were also painted by uh, Moran Minis, by the way. Did a great job. I love Moran Minis. He's great, great prices, too. All right, well, that's our adventure for the month of September. Uh, <laughs> things did not go very well. Um, at all for us we're, we're still stuck in our crappy apartment we've even like we've got three up three down so we can't even increase a rep um and yeah that's that's september i guess we'll see in october if I, if halloween is more um helpful for mr mr Ryder. if there's some way that he can uh you know get himself out of his crappy manufacturing job. I wonder what he manufactures. I wonder what he builds in his factory. Leave a comment below as to what you think he's building. <laughs> that is so bad that he doesn't get paid enough and that he's willing to knock on a thief and join mercenaries, even though he said he didn't want to do mercenary work. <laughs> there you go. Oh, man. What a game it has been. So you can see these stories, they kind of build up slowly now we've got a couple of things that we can sort of do with that story we've got some thieves we've made a couple of enemies right we've got a thieves that are not um you know happy with us we've got some cops who are not happy with us we've got our friend who we offered to knock on if that gets back to him we're in big trouble we've got some private eyes we've got some mercenaries so you know we're making enemies and whilst that sucks in real life that's good for games <laughs> right that's good for role playing you want to make lots of enemies because that gives us lots of story. Um, yeah, I might try and write some of this story up and make some short stories out of it, maybe. I don't know. We'll see. I've got a lot of writing I should be doing. <laughs> we'll see. If I do do that, I'll chuck it on the Patreon and you can read it. Uh, you can read it for whatever price it is up there. Thanks for watching and I'll see you guys uh, at a later date. Ciao for now.